Okay, my name is Yuan Jian, and uh, my topic is uh, security flaws in automotive immobilizer. And uh, we also come from come from Unicom team, and uh, it's a radio and hardware security research lab in Jihu Three Sixty Technology. So he just uh, uh, introduced our team. So uh, we just uh, want to see that uh, uh, we are one of the uh, DEFCON 24 vendors. Yeah. Next, uh, uh, we will introduce my my colleague uh, Zheng Yingtao, and uh, he is also a security researcher of our team, and uh, he has he has uh, rich experience in automotive. Automobile security and uh, IoT security. So, uh, my name is Yuan Jian, and uh, my research is all about uh, uh, wireless sensor network uh, and uh, NFC and uh, and so on. So, uh, today what we want to share is uh, uh, key fobs. So, uh, uh, we will use the key fobs to open the car door or close it. Then, uh, we will find some flaws of it. And then, uh, we will use these flaws uh, to open a car. <laughs> First, uh, we, want to, we, want, we want to find uh, what was the uh, frequency uh, that works. Just uh, uh, first, we can find the uh, open the key key fob, and we can find the uh, crystal uh, oscillator, and uh, we found it printed uh, on on it, and they will and uh, we'll find the share of the key uh, key fob, and we'll find the FCC ID, and we can see search it in the website, and then. <coughs> We will get the uh, more information about it. So if we could not get the information from in this way, so we, we could find another way. So we have another uh, have other tool, tools, uh, just like uh, USRP, uh, HackIF, and uh, what I like, uh, I like it, uh, RTL. Uh, it's uh, uh, very common and uh, but and the price is very cheap, and uh, we use uh, it. Uh, and uh, uh, frequency is from um, twenty four megahertz to one point seven uh, gigahertz, and uh, uh, we will find this the uh, uh, red point. Red point. Uh, we will uh, scan the frequency and find the red point, so uh, we can get the uh, uh, frequency. Then uh, we set the, the center frequency to it, and uh, then uh, we will uh, uh, get the signal uh, in detail. So we get uh, we capture the four uh, the signal four times. <coughs> And uh, it has uh, when we, when we analyze the wave, we find uh, uh, it's uh, the modulation is uh, has uh, uh, the A the ASK the modulation is ASK, and uh, first uh, we will introduce the uh, preamble. The preamble preamble is used to uh, tell the uh, car that uh, uh, there is a signal coming. You have to re be ready for the uh, signal. Then is the sync uh, sync header. The sync header is used to uh, synchronize the uh, time. Then is the data uh, about uh, uh, hopping code is uh, 32 bit and uh, serial number, and then is the four bit uh, function uh, uh, function code and the two bit status code. Then it has a guard time. The guard time should not be too short, uh, because uh, if if it's too short, uh, uh, the car could not could not recognize the uh, one signal. Uh, actually, the hoping code is the result of the re encryption that is employed by the in the car immobilizers. Uh, we'll explain that later. And the serial number and the, uh, the eight, the twenty-eight bits uh, serial number is uh, is uh, unique to the uh, key fob. 
and the four bit function code is is used to, to tell the car what uh, action to perform like the open open the door close the door or open the trunk so we get this uh, uh we know the uh modulation is sk and uh, uh so we, we we should trans translate the uh, uh wave to the bit so uh, first uh, uh, we know uh the mm, the long one is uh, zero and uh, the short one is uh, uh is is one and uh, <coughs> They send the uh, signal from left to right, and uh, uh, we get the uh, uh, the value uh, zero one and zero one and one 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 zero. So oh, uh, we put the uh, we get the MSB and the high SB. So we get the number is uh, zero one 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 and uh, one zero one zero. Then uh, we get uh, the value is seven A. So we translate the wave to the bit and uh, and, and we get the data. So we have uh, uh, connected uh, a series of uh, uh, of uh, key fab chips, and uh, as an example, we will introduce SCS three O one as an as an example. Uh, this is the format. This is the format of uh, of the chip. Uh, actually, there is uh, many, many uh, chips, wi wireless uh, chips used in the key fob and the, uh, in the key fobs. These are the, the, the specific uh, chips. And you, the, this uh, table is actually telling uh, us that uh, they're, they're tr the, the signals transmitted, the format of the signals, like the, the pre-mentioned um, pre uh, polite uh, there are the function code, the rolling code. Those formats are very uh, fo similar. So we will take a specific uh, chip as an example to analyze. Uh, to to the analyze. Okay. Uh, so the next uh, we will introduce the uh, uh, data uh, first. Uh, 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 is the uh, hopping code and the serial number. A uh, serial number is uh, unique to every key hub. Uh, uh, every every key hub has a uh, key hub has its own key fab. Oh, key key fab. Sorry, <laughs> key fab has its uh, has its own. And, uh, and then is the function code. The function code is to tell the uh, car if the if to open the door or close the door or other thing. Then is the uh, uh, two-bit status uh, code. Uh, this is uh, uh, this is used uh, one bit of it uh, is used to uh, tell the uh, driver if the key key fob is uh, uh, in low low power status, and uh, another bit is used to uh, tell the car if this signal is a repeated one. And then we will introduce the uh, thirty-two bit hopping code. Uh, the four bit uh, uh, the data is uh, uh, thirty two bit uh, and uh, it contains uh, four bit function and code and two bit spear code and uh, ten bit discrimination value uh, <coughs> and uh, sixteen bit sync counter value. <coughs> uh, we have we have found it has two two parts. Uh, the same uh, function code, uh, the outside one and uh, the inside inside the hopping code, and uh, which uh, which which one is uh, uh, which one is the real? So we test uh, many in many kinds of cars, and uh, we find uh, the outside is uh, uh, useless. The, the the car just uses the inside one. And uh, then is the uh, uh, two bit spear code. Uh, uh, it's, uh, we read the source code and find, and finally we find out uh, the spear, uh, the two-bit spear code is never used. And then is the ten-bit discrimination uh, uh, value is a low ten-bit of uh, twenty-eight-bit serial number. 
Uh, so it's used to recognize if the uh, signal is sent by is sent by the correct uh, uh, key fob. And then in the uh, 16 bit signature uh, value, uh, it's used to judge if the uh, signal uh, is is right. Uh, uh, when mm, when the key fob uh, sends uh, uh, a signal, it has its own sync uh, sync control value. Uh, the car will compare the uh, the sync control value itself and to the uh, key fob. So he will judge it if the uh, value is right. Then, uh, any question? Okay, then they will do the uh, key lock. They use the 16-4-bit uh, 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 encryption key to uh, and uh, do the key lock algorithm to produce the 32-bit uh, hopping code. Okay, the key lock. Um, how many have you um, have you heard of this? Okay. Only one. Keylock is uh, uh, just as in uh, cryptography algorithm that is m commonly used in the immobilizers, and uh, uh, j you can j just feel that like AES this. Okay, it's, this is like uh, j just an in cryptography algorithm, and uh, the, the the function code, is, like the running code, is a result of encrypt using keylock to encrypt. Uh, so you encrypt the the function code the, and the ten bit the the ten bit discrimination value is just the lower part of the serial number, and uh, so this, uh, this uh, I hope that everybody understand the key lock is. Oh, okay. Uh, then let me introduce uh, shortly about the key lock. Key lock uh, uh, first uh, it has two parts, uh, sixteen. To the uh, low uh, low part is the uh, sixteen four bit is the encryption key and uh, uh, what and then the data is thirty thirty two bit. First we get uh, five bit of it uh, from bit one bit nine bit. 20, bit 26, bit 31, and uh, we do uh, NLF uh, uh, operation, and uh, now uh, we, g we get one bit. And now uh, we, g we do the XOR to the uh, bit 0 and uh, bit 16, and uh, bit 0 from the uh, encryption key, and uh, now we, we, we get uh, uh, and uh, uh, encrypted uh, encrypted uh, uh, bit. Now we will do this. Uh, uh, now the uh, data will will shift, uh, and uh, the bit uh, sixteen four bit key uh, will uh, uh, circular shift, and uh, uh, we will do this five hundred and uh, uh, twenty eight rounds. So. Oh, finally, we will we will get the encrypted uh, uh, four uh, four byte uh, uh, data. Four byte data is the rolling code. Right? Uh, that that's the rolling code. Oh, this this is the uh, decryption of the key lock. Uh, they uh, is the inverse of the. Uh, uh, encryption, so uh, it has not a big re big difference. So uh, just uh, use the difference uh, bit. So next we will introduce the first uh, floor uh, of of some car some cars. Uh, chip designer did the rising, but uh, not all the uh, automobile manufacturers. <coughs> Some some manufacturers uh, did it had uh, has some problem, and uh, so uh, if a car has uh, uh, the problem we ha we find, so we how we could open a car. 
Uh, then next, uh, we, we, we will first uh, record continuous, continuous signal twice. And uh, then uh, uh, that means we will get uh, uh, two continuous uh, uh, sync counter number. And uh, then we will replay it. So uh, that's the result is we could uh, open open the car. So okay, the, the we basically we have tell, told you that the I think this is one when, when, when a car has the vulnerability we found we could open the the, the the car in this way. And so the next we will introduce why uh, how how a car authenticate the the, the, the key for. And uh, how oh, oh, that that uh, why, why, what's the vulnerability? How, where the vulnerability exists? First, uh, we should read some. Uh, <laughs> Uh, first, uh, uh, the, uh, th this is the key fob uh, on, on my right. Then he sends the uh, uh, data, and the, the data contains uh, uh, a 32 bit hopping code and the serial number function code and the status code. And then we use the key lock to decrypt it. And then um, we get the data un unencrypted. So uh, we have four bit function code, two two bit uh, uh, spear code and uh, discrimination value and the uh, sync control value. The sync control value is the most important. If the sync control value is uh, uh, seven F F one and uh, uh, the e hop e hop means uh, the sync control value saved in the car. He 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 had a, a value. So uh, the hop minus e hop, we get the e temp. That means uh, the value is negative uh, uh, 15. So it's smaller than zero. So uh, that's the return force. That's the uh, uh, that's the chip is rising. Uh, so. If the if the value is unsigned, uh, 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 is same as uh, just uh, I I said, uh, but uh, what what difference is the uh, unsigned? If the uh, value e temp is unsigned, so uh, it uh, it will get the uh, value uh, f f f one, uh, not uh, just uh, what what I tell told is negative fifteen. So they will return uh, to a function. A request uh, uh, resignate. So we read this, read this, uh, so we read this uh, uh, source code. The e-hop is the uh, data, is the same counter value from the uh, key fob. And the e-hop is the same counter value saved in, in the car. So uh, hop minus e-hop, we get the e-temp. So e-temp is smaller than um, zero. Just, uh, just uh, I'll say that this is uh, a negative 15. So is smaller uh, uh, than um, zero, so they will go to f go to force. That's the right. That's the right correct thing. So the next, uh, if if they if uh, they define this value as un unsigned value, they will go to they will go to this uh, re re request uh, re resync this function. And uh, uh, does anyone have? Questions right now because this is uh, uh, actually the vulnerability where uh, we exists where the vulnerability exists. So if you have a question, you could ask him right now. Okay. Okay, uh, actually, uh, I, I think the, there's a uh, misunderstanding that uh, your, your, your confusion has come from, from here. Here. Uh, actually, the, um, the value, the, the, uh, I was uh, explained from the top to the 
uh, to top, from top down. The 32 bit, 32 bits hoping code is the result of using keylock encryption algorithm to encrypt the content. Uh, the, 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 the content there here, the 4 bit function code, 2 bit spill code, the content, understand? So, uh, actually, there is, a, there is a 4 bit uh, function code in plain text, sent in plain text. And there is an encrypted version uh, 4 bit function code. Actually, we have done some experiments. We found out that the car won't uh, will, uh, ignore the 4 bit function code that's not encrypted. They will only respond to the function code that is encrypted. But we, 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 your question is uh, how, actually we were talking about how the car handles the decrypted result of the, which is this part, the unencrypted uh, contents. So the car has the, has the key so it can, uh, it can decrypt the, 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 the content. So we are talking about that. But uh, we are talking about the decrypted version of this content. Does that make, does that make sense? And so the vulnerability, vulnerability uh, okay, and let me tell you how they, uh, they use this uh, sync counter. Sync counter is actually, when you press the, uh, the, the, key, the key fob, the, the key fob will send, send out the, uh, 32, uh, the, the 32 bits hoping code, which is an encrypted re uh, re uh, re version of the content, and uh, plus this, this part. And when the, when the, uh, when, uh, when this, uh, when the, uh, the, the sync counter, although when the car received this the signal, they, they will check, they compare the sync counter uh, that's stored in the car. The, the car also stores a sync counter, synchronization counter. Okay, when the when the synchronization counter stored in the car is larger than the synchronization counter received, okay, uh, when when it's larger, the car won't respond. When when, when the sync counter is larger. Than the uh, than the stored one in the car, uh, uh, there's a, there's a range. If the larger by one to sixteen, one to sixteen in this range, the car will instantly respond to the function code, open the door or close the door. Okay. If it's larger more than sixteen, the car would enter a state called resynchronize res resynchronization. Okay, uh, so the car would store the receive, uh, currently received the uh, uh, sync counter and uh, uh, both the currently received sync counter and the old counter that is stored. Okay, and it will well, enter the, uh, the resynchronization state in which the car will wait until you hey, receive the second sync, uh, sync law. And if the second sync law contains a continuous uh, uh, synchronized uh, sync counter value, which is larger the, than the uh, form, formerly received sync counter by one, the, the, the car would respond to the function code and uh, change the old one, the, stored, the one stored in the car, to the uh, the last uh, last received uh, sync counter. Does that make sense? So that <laughs> No, 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 no. If the, if the user presses the button and the car don't respond, you, he or she continue, goes on to re press that again. So that would re re synchronize the, the, the sync counter because when you uh, um, put the key fob in, in, in your pocket, you may you know, unintentionally press that multiple times and it goes off the uh, 16 range. Okay. We are. Uh, it's not the real uh, replay. Uh, if he has this law, uh, this flaw. Uh, we are going to introduce the flaw yet. We, are, we will introduce the flaw <laughs> next. Yeah. You know, this this is a normal normal procedure. So, uh, 
And uh, if they defined uh, this as a sign, unsigned value, so this is unnormal, is normal. So, uh, uh, when we so when we um, send the uh, smaller smaller thing control value, they should go to the uh, go to the false and uh, uh, no response, no response. Then if if uh, they defined if the uh, manufacturer uh, uh, defined uh, the e temp as an uh, unsigned value, so they will go to the uh, uh, recognize recognize. Uh, so if they go to the recognize, they will set the uh, F2 chance to two, and uh, wait for uh, they will wait for the next hop. And the next hop is the hop plus one. So when they get the next uh, next uh, uh, signal, the signal uh, the value is uh, uh, one bit uh, uh, is w bigger than uh, not. Uh, okay, if the, uh, I just, I, I think I have just explained that if the, uh, the, the car, when the car enters the resynchronization re procedure, it will wait an, an, another signal, right? So if the another signal, sync quantum value is larger, is greater the, than the, the previously received sync, sync quantum value by one, so it will uh, resynchronize. Yeah. Yeah, then uh, the next signal, uh, we will, the, the, the program will go to hop CHK and the F2 chance is true. And the uh, next, uh, next hop equals hop. Then and the result is uh, they will return to, so the, the car will respond to the signal. So if the signal is to open the car, so they will re respond to the second one. So this is the second. This is the second one. So if they sec the second hop is uh, uh, seven f f two, uh, um, so uh, they will go to the uh, f two. The f two chance is two, and uh, the next hop is the uh, bigger, um, uh, larger one. And then, then just uh, I say the. And the pre previous hop is uh, uh, seven F F one. <laughs> so we changed uh, we changed the uh, sync control value. The sync control value uh, sh uh, should be uh, uh, bigger than the previous. But uh, if he has if the car has this uh, floor. Uh, we use uh, uh, two continuous signals to make it smaller than the uh, uh, previous. So this is our guess. So uh, the first from the first picture we know uh, is the uh, code uh, right by the uh, chip designer. He designed the uh, uh, word as an unsigned int. So uh, uh, when they can compare two uh, uh, two number, and uh, we get the negative one, and the next uh, is the is the next picture is uh, we guess the, we guess uh, uh, some mobile uh, manufacturers define the uh, word as unsigned. So uh, we uh, we use two continuous uh, signal to open a car. Does anybody has questions until now uh, regarding their previously contents? Uh, actually, uh, I think uh, uh, the actually the I, I have already explained the normal procedure where the car when the car is authenticated the K fob, uh, it when the you know, the problem is uh, here. Okay, uh, okay, so not here. Uh, uh, the problem is the uh, minus operation in the code. Okay, you see the e temp and the hope and the in hope. 
the item is uh, is the value that uh, you you get from by uh, using the uh, received sync counter to subtract to to minus to mi minus by the the the, the stored value if the item is defined as um as a signed integer it will get both uh, get value both uh, larger or uh, uh, it will uh, you will get the negative value and the positive value does that make sense okay so but if it it is designed as an unsigned integer so the, the the minus operation would always uh, produce a value that uh, larger or equal than, uh, than zero, equal equal to zero. Okay. So uh, when when it, when it continue uh, to go when it go on to like if the item uh, is lesser than than is is than zero, then this when they compare that, they, they, this they, this won't any be true. Won't be true. So, so well, they will speak the if operation and goes directly to the L, else section of the code. So, so, uh, so if the uh, so so we could use uh, like a two continuous uh, signal the, which contains. Up till now, we are not able to decrypt the encrypted contents. You know. But we re recorded two continuous signals, so the 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 sync count value would be conti continuous, like. Okay, so we we replay when we pr replace that, the the this, the car will always go into the uh, resynchronization procedure. So every time I replace these two signals, the car would uh, return to the same, would resync resynchronize to the same uh, resynchronizing the counter value. Okay, so that's why we can okay use the signal to open the door continuously. Okay. Next, if we have more time, we will show you how to open open the immobilizer. We will do a demo. <laughs> uh, so this is a video. Uh, we how to use this uh, inflow to open a door. Is this the audio? Oh, the mail. This this mail thing. Okay. So an another another way to open a car. So they have uh three. Going to about to start the second vulnerability to explain the second vulnerability. Has any uh, does anybody has question uh, regarding the previous vulnerability? The mistype define. Okay. Uh, no, uh, it's uh, uh, about the uh, simple uh, the encryption. They have. E uh, three ways to get the encryption key. Now, we, we, if we use the key lock, uh, the encryption key is very important. Uh, so, how they get the uh, encryption key? They have three ways. Zero ways. The uh, simple encryption is the most uh, uh, simple. They get. They use the manufacturer's code uh, just as the encryption key. Uh, so, uh, uh, it's very. Uh, Directly, and uh, when if if uh, a car lost uh, a manufacturer's code, so uh, they will have influenced uh, a bunch of uh, a bunch of uh, cars. Okay, on well, the previous vulnerability exists in the uh, code that authenticated the KFOB, uh, but this vulnerability exists in the key. It's uh, more. Than, uh, it's more like a. Uh, Key management flaw in the you know, car industry. Uh, so the next uh, uh, standard uh, encryption. 
So they use the serial number to get the encryption key first. Uh, they use six and uh, serial number uh, and uh, key lock algorithm and the manufacturer's code to decrypt and they get the 32-bit MSB. And then uh, the same way they get the uh, low, low MSB and uh, they, now they get the encryption key. Uh, uh, it's, it's the same problem as the uh, a simple uh, simple encryption key. If we he lost the, the manufacturer code, uh, what we 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 did not know is the serial number. So we could we could uh, uh, just listen to the uh, listen uh, just capture the uh, signal once. We will uh, we will find the signal. Uh, we will find the, uh, the serial number. And uh, now we can get the uh, encryption key. Or uh, we did not uh, know, uh, did not capture any any signal. So we could try the uh, serial number one by one. And uh, finally, we will open the car. So the next, uh, I think, is the most secure secure way: the secure encryption. Uh, the difference is has the uh, seed. The seed is unique to every key fab, uh, uh, and uh, it's random. Uh, so if we get one key fab the seed, uh, we we could not use it uh, to open other cards. So uh, the uh, MSB is the uh, the encryption in the same way, and uh, the next seed uh, we they use the seed to uh, decrypt the. Uh, uh, to get the uh, low S LSB of the encryption key. So if we find, uh, uh, we get the manufacturer's code, and uh, uh, and the, in, and if we capture uh, the serial number, but we did not know the uh, seed, so we could not open open the uh, open the car. Okay, okay. Supposing you have lost your your key fobs, and they will, you have the the, the 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 manufacturer and you as usual all, all forgot the uh, the random seed, right? That's your question. Okay, the car the the car manufacturer has uh, their their equipment to connect to the car and update the new. Seed. Okay, understand? Okay, okay. Actually, we are talking about the initialization of the encryption key. How the Car manufacturer initialize the, the encryption key for the key fob for their key fobs. There are three type of a uh, three method. One is the simple version and the, the standard and the secure encryption. Because the secure, secure encryption got a seed, so even if you extract the seed from one vehicle, you cannot use that to open other vehicle. Okay. Okay. I think the, the that is uh, you, the, the the car manufacturer may may have their specialized equipment. Then that's I, I think it's a question. You you mean the, the how the car manufacturer updates the seed, right? <laughs> okay, uh, I don't know that actually because. Uh, the car manufacturer, you, if, if, if you can make that, you, you have that tool, you could like your program the keys your or up, uh, replace a key for yourself. But but uh, the the car manufacturer won't let you do that. So they may have I, I, that's that's my assumption. Okay, they may have employed like hardware security authentication between the uh, ECU that in charge of this, this the stores the seed and the equipment. Okay. So that's another field of study, I think. Uh, we are talking about problems here. The, 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 okay. So uh, we know the encryption key is a problem. So uh, how we get the uh, encryption key, how we get the uh, manufacturer's code, uh, we know the manufacturer, uh, the uh, uh, manufacturers uh, uh, was saved in two, uh, in two uh, parts. One, one is the, uh, 
uh, one is in key fab. It has the encryption key and uh, has the uh, manufacturer code. And uh, then is the car has the uh, menu. Uh, uh, and then the car has the uh, manufacturer's code. But uh, if we want to uh, uh, decode the uh, chip in the key fab, uh, uh, I think uh, uh, it is too hard. Then we find out uh, they uh, they may find a way to. Uh, decode the decode the car. Uh, decode the chip in the car. They send the uh, chip to uh, some uh, uh, micro uh, controller dec decode company. Uh, actually, uh, we are talking about how to get the. Uh, you know, you remember in the secure uh, the standard key generation, key generating uh, method. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, we, we have like three ways to generate the, the encryption key, right? Uh, the first one is like, oh, sorry. <coughs> uh, using the sim simple equation where the encryption key is just the manufacturer's code. This code is, uh, you know, uh, is the same over uh, as the other vehicles manufactured by the car manufacturers, right? And there is a standard encryption. In the standard encryption, you have to, if you have the serial number uh, and uh, you, you can you, uh, you know, generate the encryption key yourself and then use that encryption key to decode the um, hoping code. So, so we are now going to talk about how to get the manufacturer code or under the, under the serial number, okay? Uh, so the manufacturer code often you, you can get, Get this way, you, you can you know unshoulder the flash chip from uh, uh, in the vehicle the containing the vehicle's ECU, and uh, you know we read you uh, read uh, dump those content and you will find the manufacturer code uh, from uh, in, in the flash chip, and and uh, once you find the manufacturer code, you can use like the same method to generate the uh, encryption key and use the encryption key to decode, uh, de decrypt the rolling code. After you, de the, you decrypt the rolling code, you can do whatever you want. So without further explanation, I think everybody can understand the real the consequences. <laughs> no. Uh, then, if we, uh, then is the uh, how to use the manufacturer's code. Uh, if we, uh, if we know the uh, serial number, uh, how to get the serial number, uh, we could just uh, listen uh, uh, to capture the uh, signal once. Once we we just uh, uh, talk about the the, uh, the format of the. Uh, it, of the of the data. Remember uh, in the previous group that the uh, graph that the sync counter is sent in plain text, right? Has that, do everybody uh, does everybody receive remember <laughs> that? Okay, okay, okay. In plain text. Okay. Oh, we will see 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 this. Oh, see, okay. see, uh, here, here. Uh, it's a planet. Uh, so we we will just uh, listen <laughs> listen it once. We will get the serial number. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, now we get the serial, uh, get the serial number, and uh, what we don't know is the scene control value. Uh, if the uh, car is uh, the uh, normal one, it has a uh, signed uh, signed value. So we will send uh, first. Uh, we have sent uh, f the signal four times. The first is the signal value uh, zero 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 one, and. Uh, and uh, uh, we get the e-temp is uh, uh, smaller than zero, so they will return false. Then the next one is uh, zero zero uh, zero two, so they will re re return uh, the false two. Uh, uh, is uh, in the invade region, 
So the next uh, we try uh, we try another uh, we try another number in the different region. If, if they have two regions, uh, one one region one part uh, one half is uh, the inward, and uh, uh, the next is is uh, could be used is used to uh, synchronize or uh, is just the right uh, right signal. So we try the next try the next part. Next part we try the eight zero zero one. Now they will go to uh, resynchronize. They will go to resynchronize, and uh, then uh, we will send uh, we will send uh, the next uh, next number, the uh, next uh, uh, sync control wa value. So it's eight zero zero two. They will return to show. So uh, uh, if this uh, uh, we if we send the uh, function code uh, uh, is open the door. So we could use this to open open a car. So you understand. <laughs> Oh, okay. So, and then, uh, next, uh, if we don't know the serial number, we, we, if we don't know the serial number, how to how to uh, we uh, open open a car? So, uh, uh, we sh we could try the uh, 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 try the every uh, serial number. Uh, now, uh, uh, we send send this four times, and uh, try we we could try a uh, one signal number. And then we try another. Yeah. Uh, 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 but uh, the serial number is very, very long. So uh, we could not try the, uh, all one by one. We must uh, wait, wait a long time. So uh, we had uh, other other method uh, to reduce the time. If we know the car, uh, the uh, what kind of this car, and uh, uh, what time the car produced, uh, we 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 know the range of the serial number. So that's uh, we 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 reduce the time. Yeah, you understand. <laughs> So this is the uh, uh, unsigned one. Unsigned one. We just uh, it has no inward region. They are all blue. So we need to just try to try a uh, serial number uh, one time. And so uh, the ser the serial uh, uh, first, uh, if we listen to the uh, capture the signal one time, and uh, now we get. Uh, 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 we try this uh, 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 two times. First, we get we get it uh, uh, zero zero oh zero one, and and uh, they go to uh, the uh, they go to re re uh, uh, re status, and uh, then uh, we send the next. Uh, they will open the open the open the uh, door. So uh, the same way we use to uh, we use the is the try the serial number. If we don't know the uh, serial number, we will try we will try it one by one, and then uh, know the age, know what kind of the car to reduce the time. Yeah. Oh, this is the video. We try the uh, serial number. So you know, you know where we are. Uh, just uh, you know, this uh, light uh, is well, but be be bright. It's shining. <laughs> well, it's not very obvious. Sorry, it's very very obvious. So, uh, if we have time, we had uh, do uh, a demo. Uh, but first, uh, I would like to ask uh, you <laughs> to anyone has questions. Okay, I I, I think that uh, the uh, actually I I would like to do an abstract of the talk. Okay, uh, the first one vulnerability exists in the implementation of the authentication protocol, the type type define the unsigned integer and the signed integer. Okay, that's the first vulnerability. The second vulnerability is the, the, the uh, uh, key management. The, the actually, the car manufacturer employed the weak key generation uh, method the, in which you use zero number and the manufacturer code. That's the second vulnerability. And we actually extract 
many, many uh, manufacturer code and serial num number from uh, like the Naxmith, uh, you uh, the Tor and uh, Naxmith yield. So, like the way we can uh, now the, with the second vulnerability, we can actually decrypt the uh, hoping code, so we could change what uh, to uh, the contents contained in it. So. Uh, actually, he, he, he was talking about that. When, when you can decrypt that, you can change the syn synchronization counter to whatever you want. Well, and uh, so, uh, actually, I, 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 we can also disable disable the, the, the owner's key fob by doing cha uh, by changing the synchro synchronization value. So the uh, the, the owner actually literally have to press like uh, almost thirty thousand uh, because it's like. Uh, uh, six, uh, 16 bits variable. So the user has to like uh, press uh, more than like uh, 30,000 times in order to regain, regain control. So we literally disable their key fob. So, uh, any question? Okay. Mm. Oh, uh, demo. This uh, we are going to demo on an aftermarket uh, immobilizer because we found the manufacturer code, so we uh, we could find the encryption key. So, yeah. to transmit the running point, yeah, the signal. And uh, the here is the immobilizer. original key fob. So uh, we have the this serum uh, uh, receive the uh, rolling, rolling code, the serial number, and uh, then it's uh, the descriptive one. And uh, uh, that means uh, we, if the uh, car is open for a long time, they will close itself. So uh, the next is the uh, uh, sync control value. So uh, we press the to unlock it. Yeah. So we the sync control value uh, add one. You can see the the, the value is increasing. Yeah, the, uh, we will show the this is the uh, the first floor. We will try the sync uh, control value sm smaller than the uh, uh, the sync the sync uh, control value shift in the car. Uh, this is the in, in, in immobilizer. We are not uh, explaining the first floor because the, the, this immobilizer does not have the first floor. So we are explaining that you can see there is a decrypted rolling code here. So we already got. The we are, uh, we are doing so a demo of the second one, the key, key measure. We will, and then we will try the. Because the first one, we cannot detect the First, uh, we will get the this part. Copy. Then is the serial number. Oh. I 
just write it. Yeah, we try the this single single counter value. Uh, it's no no response. So we will try the uh, next uh, thing counter value. Yep. Sorry. This is not the same. Maybe, maybe something real not right. As my colleague is preparing the demo, I could uh, explain um, the hardware we use. Although it's ugly, but it's uh, functional. And uh, yeah, they have this uh, transmitter. Remember that the second one is like AST amplitude chip thing. So we, this one is just like accepting the uh, digital signal from this uh, microcontroller. And, uh, and, and then like, uh, there is the, the, the also that, that uh, uh, produces the carrier. And the, the, when the, we use this additional mm -hmm. signal from the microcontroller to come mm -hmm. to the amplitude shift thing. So, otherwise, the right timing and the, you can reproduce the wrong the radio signal that's sent by the car keyboard. Uh, the same, uh, wait, wait, there, this one is for transmitting. This one, you can see there is an antenna here, this is to receive. And you could do this without uh, this hardware. You could like do uh, using a uh, hack RF, the software software to find radio platform, and uh, use the use USRP. Those are also used to do this. Oh. 
Oh, this is uh, the Picasso report, which is uh, the door. This, this kind of thing is the moment I was basically the moment in the past is the matchless past that is the cleanest interest. Because we are going to send two signals on the network, uh, uh, you know, what, what happens is like, uh, greater than the phone up, greater than the response. Uh, and when it's smaller,
little problem. Okay, it works. I found me. That's what I was saying. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for wait, uh, waiting for the demo. Okay. Uh, so, so is any question? <laughs> Great. Thank you. Thank you, everybody.